Hey guys, it's Galen. Um, membership's back on, so I'm gonna go into the Temple of Storms and I'm going to farm Carcopatra for the duels. Um, I've farmed her quite a bit in the past. She drops them pretty well, both the Exalted and the Master. Uh, this is actually, I'm gonna admit it, my second uh, attempt at running this, uh, recording this video anyway. Um, I messed up the first time and did it wrong. Uh, the reason being, I want to show you that there's an easy way to respawn her. Because um, it takes a little bit to get to her. She's not like Jade Oni where you can just go in and throw a switch and uh, have him spawn. With her, you have to uh, kill in a specific way in order to get her to respawn. So I'm going to show you that when we get there. Krakotep ensured only the worthy could enter the inner sanctum. If you dare step onto the teleporter, you have to kill three bosses first to in here. Um, the Pestra, if you can defeat the Soul Sapper, and then the Son of Storms. Um, these first two, the Pestra and uh, Soul Sapper. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, they do drop some forms of elegant gear, and they both respawn um, if you hang out. And just, you know, don't go back to the front, just hang out here. Um, after a couple of minutes, they will respawn. Uh, my friend Trevor, you might see that in the message window. He's wanting to leave. He's he's in Darkmoor with a bad team. <clears throat> if you've ever been in Darkmoor with a bad team, you know how that is. Uh, he was in there with a, uh, somebody boarded to me. He was in there with a, a storm and, and yeah. it just hit the storm lord uh, with no blades. It's Fred. I need to fix my deck before I go on. I've got all this stuff in here that I don't need. Down, cat. Well, that's not a bad blade for a balanced school wizard. <clears throat> Was it no good? Trevor is not online, so obviously he did just probably close the program. Fake disconnect. I've done that. Uh, the book will tell you to uh, turn on the ones that are living. So that's what we're doing. It's the four outside corners. Um, in this puzzle, you want the moons lit the suns off, but when you trip the moons, um, they tend to trip some of the suns, so you have to go around. There may be an easier way to do it, but this is just the way I do it. And it works. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. Um, this room, if you set the brazers to storm, you'll be able to read the book. Um, I already know what it is, so I'm just going to do it. It's, uh, it's sun, tree, snake, and bug. Very well. You have passed both the test of strength and the test of aptitude. Prepare to enter the inner sanctum at once.
Uh, in order to get her to respawn instantly, you want to use single target hits. And don't use a hit all. You want to kill her first. Last time I accidentally, I mean, I, I was confused. It's, it's been a while. And I killed the guard first. Um, when you do that, she doesn't respawn. If you kill them both at the same time, she won't respawn. So, you, in order to do it, you have to kill her first. Let me go in here and get rid of some of these cards. I don't need the blades. I don't need the wands. Yeah, if Fred messes this up, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> See, she spawned again instantly. And you got her balance school garments. I wonder what they are. Are they no trade? There are no trade. I hate the no trade stuff, guys. We don't need no trade stuff. No trade again. Um, I didn't get any duels that time. But again, if, if you're going to farm her, since it takes a little work to get here, uh, kill her first, single hit spells, then the guard, and she will respawn again instantly. If you kill them both at the same time, she won't. Or if you kill the guard first, she won't. Uh, but that's uh, all I wanted to show you today, guys. Um, I don't hit the chests. Uh, I'm not going to waste my crowns. Um, but until next time, uh, that's Fred. And this is Galen. We'll see you.